and the autos. Bringing cars back to life. So we're back in the garage and I'm going to take a car out for some tyres this morning. Sick notes there. <laughs> and so we're off. We want to have a quick look around Gary, see what we're doing today. So uh, Stephen, he's uh, doing absolutely nothing as per usual. Steve, I'm going to tell you what to do now. So we're just at Park Road Garage now. Um, so as you can see, they do all the alloys here. They've got a CNC machine for cutting it. So that's when they cut your alloys. So that's the uh, the machine what they use to cut the alloys. So they program it up, tell it what wheels in it, and then it cuts your alloys, and you end up with this like nice little bit of swarf off it. They also powder coat your wheels here. So powder coat your wheels. Uh, we are in three tyres changed. They do, these are just ready to be powder coated. This one's been powder coated. So there you go, that's a, that's a finished item. We also do tracking. Tracking MOTs. There's Robert. Walking away. So we need to do tyre changing. Also, alley wheel welding in here. So he welds all your alloys. I don't know what that means. That's a 68 plate M5 in. Uh, when it's put keys on it, nice colour in it, Zach. Well, the headrest light up on this. So get inside these. Headrest lights up. Mercedes come in with a, uh, it was crashed on the front corner here, uh, see the, it's damaged it, so we've got a water leak on the radiator, down there, uh, Steve's just doing a, a diagnose on it, and what's it coming up with Steve? So have a look on there. What we do, we do run a diagnostics on the car uh, and tell us what the car's doing. Uh, all right, try and do this on nearly on every car. If it's had an accident, obviously it needs. We need to know what it's, what's not working, what's working. Uh, we've just changed the ABS rings on the back, but we think he's damaged something else, don't we, Steve? Electronic power steering there, uh, EPS. That'll cause a fault, won't it? Mm. I bet he's damaged steering on it. What's that EPS? Hey, what's that? The SRS? SRS restraints gone. Three faults, Sam front. Try that. SRS? What's that coming up with? 
see what SRS is, is a safety restraint system. So we'll see what the trouble codes are and what it's actually faulted. It's that left impact sensor, yeah. and that's, what's the, that's what the problem is. So this is what we call a late dinner. So there you go, we've had scones, hot dogs, pot noodle, Zach and Ellie had chicken curry. Zach, have you got pictures of um, that white scone? No. John's just not even bothered. Um, we need pictures of that insignia Mini well. eggs. Yeah, I'll go get them now. Cats, cats pregnant. Shit's going on in this carriage. The monkeys are gone. The monkeys are gone. No, they're not. They're still here. That says 90 plus, like, so it's 100. Boo's under there riding. So we're down at me mate's garage and we're just going to have a quick scoop through these cars I'll just flip camera around so these are a few of the cars this is a Minka 323 three. Three, three. Cosworth what's actually going which one's this K1 this is K1 how many of these three how many two or three what two or three there's two or three Five. how many is on road none uh, mm, I'm not sure you know I think, there's, still I think the blue one's still about, so my pal's come down to have a look at this. Uh, he does want to uh, own this. So that's that, and then I presume you all want to look at that. Which is, I don't like it, but... Whatever Gary were into, he liked. Unfortunately, we don't know much about the car but oh it's a stick shift that's why it's dear ah. well so this is this was his uh, beloved man cave as me and Claire were talking last night he was eccentric a bit weren't he a little bit <laughs> well, uh, a like me a bit of a hoarder so, we found lots of expensive stuff. At least you can get in this garage. What are you trying to say about mine? <laughs> so, when you're doing one of these services on one of these green Asda Sprinter vans, they have a oil filler cap like a normal conventional engine, which is here. So, you undo that Phillips screw there, then releases that, which is then you can put the oil straight in the engine. But a lot of people have seen them trying to put the oil through that which is technically the oil cap but it's for actually filling it up when you need it to put a, like a litre in or something and you don't want to take all the air filter when you're doing a major service it's much easier to undo that and change it so that is a full on mung in the process that's what he's just been doing pulling that along like a little I have no, no words for this boy. Zach's still on this Mercedes. Still doing the, uh, we've done the rear brakes on it now. And it's near, that is nearly done. So we've quickly come in the office here now to have a quick word with Ellie before. She's departing us. So where are you going? Where are you going on Monday? Mm. Eh? No Sick note. Don't worry. She's going to Tenerife leaving me on my own. There's my fat cat. She's due to have babies any day she's stopping in here tonight. There's my other cat. No you can't see her but there she is. She's well asleep. PM Tools, Pete Moore. There you go, that's Pete. Right. So he's turned up today. Steve's just undoing this now, taking this in screw off, so we can cut that because all the bolts are seized. If not, are we going to snap them off? So 
we'll get back to you in two minutes and we'll uh, do some then. Just one of subscribers to have a quick look around garage with us, Gaz as well. Yeah. So Gaz is one of our first subscribers, so he'd come up to have a quick look round again. So we'll just go in back, show him the escort and we'll be back in two seconds. Yeah. So like I said, we're back on the uh, we're doing a bit on the escort. Gaz has come down, but Gaz is coming having a look at this. So I'm just gonna talk him through what we've actually done. Uh, so you will you will see him on camera. So what we've done, so we've started doing the arches as you can see there. Yeah. We've done the roof, we've put a new yeah. roof on. So we've welded, you see where we're welded? Yeah. It? And you've lowered it a bit, haven't you? It's been Almost lowered a little bit, yeah. And we've put a petrol cap in here, fill the neck here now. Yeah. It used to be there. Yeah. So we're gonna blank that one off, that one's the new filler cap. Done the roof all over, tailgate's fitted now. So she's, she's, she's getting on, isn't she? Yeah, she's getting there. So we, keep, we keep marvelling John. Every All your subscribers keep getting on to him to finish this car. I'm lazy. Each video, you want to see some of this in it. So I, that, I mean, she's looking like an escort now, isn't she? That is beautiful. But when you see it in real life, it's a bit yeah. better than when you see it on film, isn't Correct. it? Correct. Because people, they don't appreciate how much work's gone into this, do they? I'll put that up against a few cars, that, when it's done. But this this is like, the work, it does look, it's the right proportions for an Escort. Yeah. Everything is what you see, it is an Escort on top. Just, it's a Golf R underneath. Yeah, the other lad did a lot of work underneath and did a lot of the uh, build for us. But like I said, we have actually done majority of it to get yeah. it to this standard now where it's had a new roof. It's, it's had everything it can have, all the welding's been done, what needed to be done, the car is... And I've actually told him when it's finished, I'm not going in that with him. <laughs> he is. <laughs> He's definitely coming in it. We'll definitely take him to a show in it, and yeah. like I said, because he is one of our first subscribers. So like I said, if you do like what we do, do subscribe, follow, yeah. because we are pretty decent lads down here, aren't we? Correct. And we do get on with it, and if you want to come down, door is always open, you can have a brew, pop in, see us. We don't just do that, you know, that escort. We've got there's this escort here. We've got other projects in the past. And, and if you want a car rebuilt, speak to John. We're, ve we're very good at welding. We are very good at welding. But we are and actually, he bought my friend's car. I've still got it. Hey, there you go. Still and that's how, that's how I more or less got onto John. Yeah. Through my friend, who's no longer here, God bless him. God bless him. Yeah. He was a nice guy, weren't he? Yeah. But like I said, Gaz will be one of the first people to come for a ride in this when it's done. And it's not far off now, is it? Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, when you see it, like I said, if you see it in real life, you'd understand how the quality of the build is phenomenal. Yeah, and if you follow John, you can see him in his younger years. Yeah. He always had the Escorts car I've shorts. Always, I've always yeah. had these. I've never not had an Escort in my life. I brought my lad home from hospital. I met my missus in one. Yeah. I have always had an Escort in my life. This is probably the ultimate Escort, that's why we built it. Uh, like I said, she is phenomenal. She's got 400 odd brake. Uh, she is serious, serious, serious car, this. It's not one for the faint hearted. You know, you're all saying, oh, it's only 460 brake, 460 yeah. odd brake. It's not that fast. It weighs a bag of sugar. Yeah, it weighs 900 odd kilos. It's not an heavy car. You think it's heavy, it's four wheel drive. It is phenomenally fast when I say and it launches like you've never seen you yeah. know like this thing it, no hesitation at setting off you know it'll beat a Ferrari off the line and beat most things off the line this thing but when you when you see it in, in, in person when it does come to the shows please do come and speak to me because it will be at shows this year Gaz has said he's going to come to some shows Correct. with me uh, please do come and speak to us have a look at the car tell me where I've gone wrong please do tell me where I've gone wrong because you know we do I'm not an expert at this, I just winged it with this car. So, like I said, please do tell us where we went wrong. So I will speak to you soon. What do you got to say to your people, Gaz? Me? Subscribe. Subscribe, keep liking, keep following. And comment. And comment. And we will do some merch. And push him to get it finished, because he won't otherwise. I will get it done this year. We're trying. See you all later.